if the offer or prescribes no mode of acceptance there acceptance must be communicated according in any reasonable mode such as in writing or oral when the offer is rejected if the offer is renewed then only it can be accepted or else it cannot be accepted in the concept revocation offer is valid before offer it puts the acceptance in course of transmission and it is out of his reach to stop it warm welcome to fourth sem bcom student the subject we are discussing business regulatory and framework in this concept we are going to learn the contract act sale of goods act consumer protection act environment act in this concept the first concept what we are discussing is indian contract act in the first session we have discussed about the concept of contract a uh, meaning definitions and elements of contract in our present session we are going to discuss about offer acceptance and other concept whatever we have in the contract i am professor rajesh lr from department of commerce and management from vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence in today's session and in the previous session what we have learned here in the previous session we learned the definitions of the contract and other terms whatever we have and what is contract agreement the difference between the agreement and contract elements of a valid contract which is very much necessary for you people for the examination point of view these two concepts there will be one compulsory question and offer essentials of valid offer we have discussed and in today's session we are going to discuss about acceptance communication revocation of proposal renewal of proposal consideration what do you mean by consideration in the contract consideration is nothing but the amount of amount or price of the contract in normal words what are the essentials of a valid consideration if there is no consideration then it is not called as no contract always for every contract there should be some amount of consideration next what are the exceptions we have these concept what we are going to discuss in our today's session the first concept we have here the acceptance indian contract act ica 1872 section 2 sub clause b it says that when, when the person to whom an offer is made signifies is assent they to the proposal is said to be accepted a proposal when accepted becomes a promise see when i am offering certain things for you then if you are going to say that agreed to purchase that products or agreed the offer what you made then it is called acceptance when it is accepted and when you accepted the offer whatever i have made for you then it becomes a promise so this is a concept what we have under section 2 sub clause b essentials of a valid acceptance so what are the essentials are there and how it is called as acceptance see the first one acceptance must be absolute and unqualified that saying that one it should be perfect it should be perfect there must be an absolute and unqualified acceptance of all the terms of the offer whatever the terms are laid down in the con agreement that should be accepted by the acceptor so then it is called the person has accepted all the terms and condition then it becomes the promise if you say that one a b c d e these are the terms and conditions what i have made in the agreement if you say that one i have not agreed see and all other things have agreed so let us go ahead so then it shows that when you have not agreed one of the terms so in that case the term what you have not accepted that has to be modified and then it has to be changed with the new agreement between the offer and offerer so this is the thing it should be there qualified acceptance would amount to rejection of the offer the saying that when always it should be unqualified it should not be a qualified concept here acceptance must be communicated keep in your mind itself or in the art itself that okay i'll buy this one and this product is only for me nobody will buy that one okay i'll come and buy tomorrow if you're not expressed your view to the person who's offering to you then that cannot be accepted as a contract here because you have to communicate 
you have to say that one, sir, I'm going to buy this product tomorrow at this time and I'm going to pay this much of amount for this one. If you want, I'll pay some amount as the initial payment for the product. So now when you make the initial payment for that product, it is going to be saying that you have agreed all the terms and condition and you have promised to buy the product. So this is going to become contract. If you don't communicate, that cannot be called as acceptance. Acceptance must be prescribed or reasonable. Offer should be accepted in a prescribed mode only. Prescribed means if I have given a written, offer has been given in the written consent, so then acceptance should be given in the written consent only. If I given in the oral, then you can say it in the oral. There is no problem in that one. Next one. If the offer or prescribes no mode of acceptance there, Acceptance must be communicated according in any reasonable mode such as in writing or oral. The acceptance what we are giving either it may be in the oral or in the written format if you give it to the person who is offering to you so then it is a concept of acceptance. It may be any mode. The offer has been made in the oral. You may accept the offer either in writing mode or in the oral concept. Acceptance must be given within a reasonable time and before the offer lapses. They say that whatever the offer I've made, it was for 10 days. The offer was made for 10 days. If I give the acceptance within 10 days, then it is okay. Or before 10 days, it is going to lapse. The time is going to lapse here before that. If I come and say 11th day, uh, that product was required for me and I've already informed you means you are not informed, you are thinking that one to buy, but you are not communicated that one, I am going to buy that one. So they are saying that one. If no time is specified, then acceptance may be made within reasonable time. If I have not mentioned any time here, the offer is valid. Offer is valid till the stock end. Offer is valid till the stock end are given here. So you can come and communicate your acceptance before the stock is going to exhaust. Means it is going to be cleared. Before that clearance of stock, you have to come and give your acceptance. How many units is required? At what price is required? And when it is required? And how you're going to buy? And how you're going to make the payment? These are the concepts should be given in the written concept to the offerer. The next Acceptance must be given within specified time. If no time is then acceptance may be made within reasonable time. Acceptance should be made before offer lapses or expires. As I said, they'll say that in the stock and before clearance of the stock, you have to give your acceptance. Fifth point, acceptance cannot precede an offer. Acceptance must be given after receiving the offer. It should not precede the offer. I Means they're saying that one. Like for example, I given the offer for 50 units. So then you can make the acceptance only for 50 units. You cannot say that one. I want 60 units, 80 units, and I want this is the number, this is the price. If I say 100, if you're accepted for 100, then it's okay. If you're not accepted for 100, you can just communicate that one. I needed 50, I need 50 units for certain amount of price and this is the amount of price it is required for me and the discount has to be provided where I'm going to make the cash payment, the trade discount. Like this, I can give the acceptance of the offer, whatever they have made. It can't be above the number of units or the design or color. Already I've clearly mentioned that one. We are having 50 units of product with the design color and size. I'm saying for you people clearly the design, color and the number of units what we have here. And if you say that one, I want a old shape, I want a, in a different square shape it is required. I'm, I've clearly mentioned the quantity what we have, it is brown color. And if you come and ask me tomorrow, I want red color. So it is not the offer what I've made and what you're accepting for the offer that cannot be called as acceptance here. The acceptance is only whatever the offer has been made here. If you are okay with that offer, then you give the acceptance. And if you are giving it in a different concept, then it can be called as a acceptance of the offer made. Acceptance must be given only by the person to whom the offer is made. 
an offer can be accepted only by the person or persons to whom it is made like for example certain products are there these type of products are made only for certain persons only for example the cosmetic products whatever we are going to produce in the organization the cosmetics majority the product is only for the female category people and it is it should be accepted by female category people only that cannot be accepted by male category like cosmetics like what i'm saying a nail polish lipstick eyeliner and eyelashes like this these concepts are especially made for the female category and these are accepted by female category only in certain cases it may be accepted by the male category those who are in the drama or the artist or the actors so they may require in certain stage but 99% these products are made for the female category it cannot be accepted by another person without the consent of the offerer they're saying that one that cannot be accepted by any other third party rejected offer can be accepted only on renewal when the offer is rejected if the offer is renewed then only it can be accepted or else it cannot be accepted in the concept communication of offer and acceptance and revocation means they are saying that one as against offerer as against offeree when offeree puts the acceptance in a course of transmission and it is beyond his reach to stop it they are saying that one the communication what i have made here if it is in the written concept if i have made here and the acceptance whatever i have sent to the offerer and that cannot be stopped in the transit whatever we are making here it has to be stopped only after when it reaches the offerer if you want to cancel you can just communicate by informing through phone or through whatsapp through mail and other things or you sent a communication initially and you wants to stop that one again one more request communication can be made so earlier i thought that to buy this product now i'm not interested to buy this product if you don't send that stoppage communication for the offerer offerer thinks that one offeree has accepted all the terms and condition and he makes a contract between the offerer and the offeree now when the acceptance comes to the knowledge of offerer as again when it comes to the the knowledge of the offerer it shows that when the offeree has accepted all the terms and conditions of the contract whatever we meant means the terms and conditions of the offer whatever are given here the number of units color designs and even the size small medium large scale units and even the quantity packing packaging and transportation everything and the terms of the payment when it reaches to the offerer it shows that when the offeree has accepted all the terms of the offer revocation withdrawal a cancellation revocation is nothing but i'm going to cancel the offer or i may withdraw revocation offer is valid before offeree puts the acceptance in course of transmission and it is out of is reach to stop it means here if you accepted that one offeree has accepted the offerers the information then if you have not sent this stop page communication properly then it is nothing but you have accepted all the offer terms and condition then you cannot cancel that one revocation of acceptance revocation of acceptance valid before the acceptance come to the knowledge of offerer before it reaches to the offerer the offeree has to send one more communication to the offerer stating that one i am not interested to buy the product at this point of time sorry for that and definitely i am going to make a deal with you people in the upcoming days that's it if just send a small communication to them then it is called the, the offer has been revoked or cancelled how revocation of proposal is made by the communication of notice of revocation by the proposer to the other party already i said that the communication has to be made either in the oral or in the written by the lapse of the time prescribed in such proposal for its acceptance or if no time is so prescribed by the lapse of a reasonable time without communication of the acceptance they're saying that 
it is going to cancel the terms of the offer when you have not accepted before the time or before the expiry or if they have not mentioned anything before the expiry of the stock or before the clearance of the stock, if you have not given any communication, then the offer is revoked by the failure of the accepted to fulfill a condition present to the acceptance. Means you have accepted all the terms of the offer and if you are going to failure to fulfill any one of the terms of the offerer made, so then the offer is revoked or cancelled because you have not fulfilled all the conditions. By the death or insanity of the proposer, if the in case, if the death of the acceptor or if the death of the offerer, in that case, the offer is cancelled. Offer is not accepted in the prescribed mode and if no mode is prescribed in some usual or reasonable manner, they are saying that one, if I have given in the oral, the offer is made in the oral, the, the acceptor can give either in the oral or written or it may be according to the prescribed manner. Only. I may give that one in the oral, but you have to give the acceptance only in written. If I mention that and if you have made an oral, then it is called as the offer is cancelled. The offeree makes a counter offer. When I said that one, the price of the offer is 100. The price of the offer is 100. And if you say that, one, no, 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 I want the price of the products at 90, then the offer is called counter offer, right? So your offer is making counter offer. And he said that one, I'm going to deliver the goods within 10 days. And your the offeree is saying that one, the goods has to be delivered within five days. See, is giving a counter offer here. So then in such cases, the revocation. Consideration. As I said, consideration is nothing but the amount or price of the contract. Section 2, sub clause D of ICA 1872. It says that one, whenever the desire of the promiser, the promisee or any other person are done or abstain from doing or does or abstain from the doing or promises to do or to abstain from doing something such act or abstinence or promise is called a consideration for the promise. When I have accepted the offer and the offer has expired in such a way that when the units, what are you going to send to me? I am going to pay you the amount for the units, whatever you are sent or whatever you are going to sell to me. I am going to pay the amount for the units, whatever I am going to purchase or the contract, what we are going to have. Consideration means something in return. Something in return is nothing but, sir, I am giving television to you. Okay. You're giving, you're offering a television to me here. So I'll do one thing. I'll just offer a two-wheeler for you. So can we exchange a television for the two-wheeler? That cannot be called as a consideration. You only said something in return. Something in return means when I'm selling any commodity or when I'm giving any service, for that, the amount of benefit should be given in the terms of money, not in the money's worth. So there's a concept what we have here. Types of consideration, past consideration, present consideration, future consideration. In case of past consideration, the promiser had received the consideration before the date of promise. The saying that in past means before the execution of the contract already has received the amount what he has made or offered to sell the units at certain rate or price of the commodity. Present. Present consideration is one in which one of the parties to the contract as performed is part of the promise which constitutes the consideration for the promise by the other side. It is known as present consideration. Already I have served, I have given the service for you and you have to pay the amount to me. So this is called present. Future, I am going to give the service tomorrow debt to you but you pay the amount in the initial past. Initial concept itself means before giving any service or before selling any product to you, you have to make the payment to me. After getting the payment, I'm going to give the benefits of the goods or I'm going to give the service for you. That is called future consideration. Valid consideration. Consideration must move at the desire of the promiser. I'm saying that one, based on my agreement, 
the amount of consideration has to move. Like for example, if I'm A and you're B, I'll say that one, whatever the amount you have to pay to me, instead of paying to me, you pay to C or pay to D. If I mention clearly, don't pay me, pay the same amount to Mr. C or D, then you have all the rights to pay to C or D. Or you have to pay only to Mr. A, not for Mr. C or not for Mr. D. Next one. Consideration may move from the promisee or any other person. Consideration may be furnished even by a stranger under any law. It is stating that one, I must say that one, I'm Mr. A and you're Mr. B. The amount can be paid to Mr. D who doesn't have any link with this contract. But even though you make the payment on my standing instructions to you stating that one, you can make the payment to Mr. C or Mr. D who is a stranger to this contract. But even though Oliver informed to make the payment for certain party. Next one, the same concept, the case study to say, you just go through this case study, you can understand whatever we have made the discussion. Next one, consideration must be something of value. Already I said that one, it should be only in terms of money and not in terms of money's worth. Always consideration means amount only, not worth of the product. Like for example, I'm giving a television to you and you're giving a two-wheeler to me. That cannot be done here. It is not a barter system here where we are exchanging the goods or services only for the value, not for the value's worth. It may be past, present or future which the promiser is already not bound to do. Means based on the law, according to the law consideration may be anyone. It may be past or present or future. It must not be unlawful. The consideration object of agreement is lawful unless if it is forbid, that is prohibited by law or fraudulent or involves implies injury or the court regards as the immoral opposed to public policy like this. If anything is there which is going to spoil the environment or it is not according to the law, if such things are there, then it cannot be called as a consideration and the contract can be cancelled here. The next one, no consideration, no contract. Means as I said, the barter system or I am giving the service for you but you are not paying anything to me here. So then when I have not received any amount here, it cannot be called as a contract and if I couldn't complete the task on time or if anything like before the lapse of the time or expiry, that is, you don't have any rights to file a case on me because in our contract you never mentioned that I am going to pay you a certain amount. Next one, exceptions. Promise made on account of natural love and affection. A contract will be valid even without consideration. Promise to compensate for voluntary services. Promise made to pay a time bar debt. Complimented gifts. Creation of agency. Agency means mutual understanding. Contract of guarantee. Remission. If these are the part of the contract or the related to the consideration, so then it is called a valid contract or it is called a void contract. Promise made on account of natural love and affection. An agreement made without consideration is valid. It is expressed in writing. So you accepted that one. For my service, the amount of amount is not required. I'll just come and serve to you. When you're given a written concept or consideration that I don't want any amount, I'm going to give only my service for the thing, whatever I'm going to give it. It is for the betterment of the future generation, so then you have to follow according to the terms and conditions. It is registered under the law. It is made on account of natural love and affection. It is between parties standing near relation to each other based on the relationship of the offerer and offeree. It always depends on that one. So based on nature of natural love and affection, the contract can be stand here even though consideration is not there. Promise to pay time barred. A promise by a debtor to pay a time barred debt is also a valid contract. You said that one, I'm going to pay the amount already the debt 
time barred debt is there. I said that I'm going to pay the amount within 180 days. The 180 days is crossed here. Now again, I'm taking a time here stating that one. I'm going to pay this amount after 60 or 80 days. So then it is a time barred period even though the contract stands here, right? It is not like that. After 180 days, the time is over. I should not pay any amount here. You have to pay that balance amount for the person who has given the benefit of goods or services to you. It is your duty to make the payment. Completed gifts. Gifts once made cannot be recovered on the ground of absence of consideration. Already I have given a gift for you, a two-wheeler or a television or any product. Or like for example, when you secure center marks in the subject, the institution or the government has given the gold medal for you for getting the rank here. Later, it can't say that one. I'm going to take back that gift from you. And for the next year, I'm going to give it to the next other person. It is not like that. That cannot be done over here. Contract of guarantee. Contract of guarantee needs no consideration. Here, the guarantee contracts, whatever we are going to make here, for that consideration is not at all required. In our upcoming session, we are going to discuss about free consent, coercion, undue influence and fraud, misrepresentation. These concepts will be discussed in the upcoming session. Thank you to all Fort Sim BCom students. In today's session, we just learned about the concept of consideration, exceptions, types of consideration and even the concept of offer. Namaste to all 4SM become students.